Hello, my name's Andrew Pitt and welcome to my studio in Suffolk. Now this film, Watercolour Pure and Simple, aims to help two types of students. Those who are relatively new to watercolour and those who have tried watercolour and perhaps been disappointed by their results. A little bit of detail, but put it on, only have one go at this, make the mark and leave it. It'll help with the, the sketchiness of it. There's these various windows. Don't go for painting every small pane, because if it's boring to paint, it'll be boring to look at. bit where you have to restrain yourself in terms of what you're going to add doesn't get easier with time because we still feel when we've got a paintbrush in our hand that we can improve the picture by adding. Don't do anything that you may regret and if you look at the subject squint at it as a way of reducing the impact of unnecessary detail which may tempt you in the hope that you think is going to improve the picture. The usual problem with pictures Make sure there's nothing in your picture which attracts more attention than it does in the actual scene. I think there's really only one more thing I'm going to put on this, uh, and that is a bit of a cliche, but I think it'll help um, with the uh, composition. Let's go across here. Now there's bits of white paper, get those covered because we don't, if we have any crisp white paper in here that'll attract attention and we don't want that, we want that. That can be a harder edge, a shadow cast by something unseen um, in the uh, unseen outside the picture. I've tried to take all of this good advice I've been giving and that is just touch the paper once with the brush and live with whatever mark I made. One of the most important and attractive features of watercolour is if they've been left with a few redeeming defects. It makes them look as if they've been painted by an artist with a nice, healthy, couldn't care less attitude in a direct, simple way. The paradox is what they've cared about is the tone and the edges and the drawing. Use attractive colour, use strong colour, don't correct as you go along. Thank you.